Good morning. The last day of adventure before we leave tomorrow. It's so amazing. It's all purple. I love going into the jungle, especially when it is cold and there is no sun. I feel so good. And my tigers. Mm -hmm. So you guys are expecting some action today? Yeah. <laughs> what about you guys? I'm excited to put sandwich more. You want more sandwiches? Yeah. Please have it because we'll get nothing there. to share the wisdom of my ancestors here in this sacred land, having this connection and having all of you such a high level of consciousness 
receiving with open heart my offerings was truly an honor. Thank you so much my from pleasure. the bottom of my heart. And thank you all of you for receiving my cacao. Usually there would be workshops etc where people would have some huge release. I would definitely be in a state of gratitude and awe, but uh, I have never really had anything called an <coughs> intense release. But what I understood was, if I am just an acceptance of the feeling of satisfaction they have after the journey, it became very clear to me that the wisdom is flowing from them to me very, very serious. And with extreme gratitude that because you all have lived this life, I have to ask something one of I don't know this place. I've been to a lot of learning, but yeah, this was absolutely new and was really absolutely commendable. There was so much of peace in that space because everyone had very deep, like literally, to bolen a really deep and dark secrets which people were just letting out as if you know it was just water flowing. They're all. कहीं वो heaviness नहीं थी, कहीं वो baggage नजर नहीं आ रहा था. हाँ, वो मतलब कहीं कुछ नहीं है. सोशल मीडिया नजर लग रहा था कि यार ये तो मतलब it was just like okay, you know, just another part of me talking, and there was so much of ease. In conversations, like people were interacting with each other, and their own spaces were opening further. And I think for every single one of us, we managed to hold the space for every. For every. So that collective dynamic was at play even beyond the class. मुझे पता चल गया कि मुझे अभी next चीज पे क्या work करना है। तो अभी क्या work किया और किस चीज पे आगे deal करना है वो भी मुझे पता है। तो I know if I'm going back to Bangalore, there's a lots of change in me. Acceptance was there without love. Acceptance with judgment, I was there. So I am very clear and very connected to my role in my life. I think this group was very unique in terms of allowing certain things to be very easy, mature, and adult, and not letting them look like, "Acha, this is something alien and we can't talk about." Why I started, you know, कई बार हम healing में डरते हैं कि अच्छा अगर ये part heal हो गया इस relationship में इस चीज़ में तो will I stop pursuing what I am pursuing? But and I'm glad that इस चीज़ का closure हुआ ताकि I can put in more energy where it is required and not keep it with that spring. Interesting aspect was I think for me like the reframing of the problem sometimes is is also equally important, right? Like we try and solve things and we don't necessarily get like the required release. And so for me, like that's my big takeaway. And I got two ka value in one in this retreat. <laughs> Thanks to Shritij, uh, to Pallavi for your theme. Like I think what yeah. Sir said in your context, I took away so much from that. But I'm going back to my marriage also with like so much a new perspective. So yeah. My biggest ego that got melted. I keep saying that uh, I'm a light worker. I'm a healer. But I'm just a medium. Very humbling to see so many people who are so much at peace with themselves and their problems, and to see that healing can take them to that extent in such a small period of time. So I have a like very bad fear of water. I've never been inside it. I don't know how to swim. And um, I had asthma. Unconsciously, my belief was water doesn't respect anyone. It takes away everything it's doing. Today, it gave a beautiful closure that I respect water. Last year. It was very difficult for me, like very challenging. This retreat has been a pause for me, where I could rest. It's been a beautiful space in the sense that across the days, across different conversations, every conversation has been a reflection of my life. मैंने बचपन से maybe consciously or unconsciously ये सुना या फिर देखा कि like we have to do things for other and जैसे करनी वैसे भरनी तो जैसा आप करो कि आपको वैसा मिलेगा. But in my whole 29 years, मैंने जैसा करा है वैसा मुझे मिला नहीं है. So it is just opposite कि जैसी करनी वैसी भरनी नहीं है. जैसा हम खुद के साथ करेंगे वैसा पूरी दुनिया या हमारे साथ के लोग हमारे साथ करेंगे. How you all have just motivated me in that moment. I feel like that would be the perfect anchor for me for the rest of my life. Um, I have seen a lot of people uh, in the previous retreat. One thing I want to say is they are not who they were in the last retreat. <laughs> For sure. No, not a single person. Like including them. Everyone has changed to a different uh, horizon altogether. No one had a definite plan of coming here. But you all happened to come here. And uh, few people who wanted to come didn't make it. For me, 
it was that bada dhamaka that they say in the end that things i thought i'd already worked on there were some facets to it that were not resolved and that opened up for me i laughed the loudest i don't know <laughs> i really had fun and i learned to let loose because i was always you know very out matlab in my own space solitude serious serious and mujhe itni aasani se hansi nahi aati thi but i really laughed my heart out this time i made some amazing friends 